So as you can tell by the thumbnail, I'm once again doing something a bit different. And this is actually a request from a buddy of mine I recently met, and his name is, well, Buddy. And this is a very quick tutorial on how to use the save editor. It's honestly super easy. This is the link where you go to download it. You can get it in a couple places. And um, LazyBone updates it every time we get a DLC, usually within like a week or two after the latest DLC drops. And I wish that man nothing but the best in terms of health, but just life in general. Getting on with the editor, again, it's really easy to use, so I will put the download link for it, you know, in the description. And what you want to do is you'll want to have like a folder off to the side. I forget if it comes in a folder or not. Uh, but if it doesn't, just make one called Xenoverse 2 Save Editor. Just download it, put everything in there. And where you, what you'll want to do is, I recommend doing this before doing anything with the Save Editor and before I even get into it. Make sure to make backup copies of your save file. One thing I should also get out of the way is, this is just a PC tutorial. I only know how to do this on PC. So console players, I'm sorry, I have no idea. I know you can mod on console. I don't know the first thing about doing that on console. But again, with all that out of the way, what you wanna do, I recommend again, making copies of your save file. Uh, I'm very paranoid. I have over a dozen copies of the same save file. Well, not just the same save file, but other various ones. And as you'll see on my desktop, I have a folder called save file backups. So, anything you see that doesn't have normal hair, like DBX uh, V2, for example, this one right here, all my blasters on that save file have Focus Flash and not Vanishing Ball. I gave Vanishing Ball its own save slot, or rather I made a copy for Vanishing Ball in case they nerf it, because it is really, really ridiculous right now. So, just out of instinct, I think they may nerf it. That's why, again, I have copies of that as well. I had to do that for the regular hair and for the Super Saiyan 3 hair. Uh, the DBX V2 Vanishing Ball and DBX V2 by themselves, those are the files I have with the Super Saiyan 3 hair tutorial on your um, Earthlings and Saiyans. If you want to see the tutorial on that, the link will also be in the description for that. Um, but that requires another tool. I'm going to leave that as its own thing. And really quick, while I'm uh, bringing that up, I want to give a thank you and shout out to my buddy KP Foursquare. Because without him, I would not have known how to do that at all. But thankfully, the tool itself also is really easy to use. But let me show you where you need to go on your PC for your Xenoverse 2 save file. And I'm sorry that took up so much time. I was just trying to cover all bases and make it as easy to understand as possible for people. Because everyone has their own way of learning. I'm more of a visual learner myself. So I find these really helpful, especially if they take their time just a little bit. But as you can see, to get to your save file, it's very easy. You can go to this PC to start off with if you feel like. I, put, I pinned a tab to the start just to make it more convenient for myself. Uh, but then you go to your C drive, that's where it should be. You go to program 86, then you'll go into Steam, user data. You'll want to go into the folder ending in 704 and the folder ending in 470 after, remote, DBX v2. It's the same exact path uh, you'll see that I have for the um, other video I did on the XML serializer. That's where you find your save file. That's that's where your root save should be. And again, I recommend you can make copies of it. I have this thing on my flash drive with all my save file backups. I've gotten multiple copies on my PC just in case. Because messing with tools, if you screw something up, your save file might get corrupted. So I want to stress again, if you're going to do anything with tools, or mods even for that matter, Highly recommend, just play it safe, make some copies of your save file. You should be good. 
But once you have that done, like once you get your root save file, it's as simple as opening up the save editor. You get to open. You can even open it from where it's at, although I wouldn't recommend doing that personally. I would just do that with a copy. But uh, just as an example, I'll go back to it again. 704, 470, remote. You'll open your save file, which I've already done here. Now, my friend Buddy that I recently met, he wants this awesome Super Soul that takes forever to get legitimately. And it's my personal favorite Super Soul in the game because I like supporting my teammates and not just myself. I like dealing tons of damage while also healing myself and, again, my buddies. So there is a Super Soul in the game called... <laughs> I don't know how to properly pronounce that out loud. I'll just pull it up here. Can I search it? Uh, let's see. I think I could do this. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, number 67 is what you want to look for. And then you can go all the way to that. Or you can just hit add all. And then, um, well, after you do this. And that's pretty much what that does. Now, I was at 91 there before because I have... Uh, at least one of these on all eight of my characters. So I would just have extras if I were to, like, um, boot up the game. I would have all these extras I shouldn't have. So I'm not gonna, you know, save this or anything. I'm just gonna close out of it after I'm done here. But, yeah, really easy. You can go to any of your characters here. Where it says character here, you can see I got my female Saiyan here, my uh, female Majin, my Frieza, my female Earthling... Mechian, male Saiyan, male Majin, and male Earthling. You can mess with their presets. You can mess with their mentor data. So you can save your the trouble of grinding out Tokopedia 100%. You can save the trouble of maxing out both friendship bars. To really take advantage of that, you'll want to um, max all, though. And... Um, if, if you want to save yourself even more trouble, unlock all customizations, unlock special costumes. I'm pretty sure that's the gifts. You can even give yourself max gifts if you wanted. Um, let's see. Okay, here's where you can, like, max out the first friendship bar. Um, to max out the second friendship bar, you'll want to go here. One thing I should note, though... Um, this only covers the in-game mentors. This doesn't cover the DLC keys. And they don't have dual attacks anyway, so that's fine. I'm pretty sure that's in here, though. Let's take a look at important. There we go. Customization key. You can give yourself all the customization keys if you wanted. You can do that with the artworks. You can do that with the mascots. You can make your own QQ bangs just by going to add. Very easy to do. Give yourself all the skills. Some of these are not checked because they are exclusive to some characters or they're different versions of already existing skills. But rest assured, I have absolutely every skill on that list. Same with the ultimates. Uh, I also want to preface this. I've gotten every single skill legitimately up to, I think, DLC 4. Because I just got tired of the grinding. Uh, after either that or DLC 6 is when I said, you know what, fuck this shit. I'm just going to use the editor. This is wasting so much time. Because I work full time. And I got shit to do. Then there's also the evasives. I won't get skills. I won't go too in depth. Uh, you can also mess around if you feel like it with Hero Coliseum. Not that there are many people out there uh, who do. And then there's also the items. You can change up the Xenoverse uh, one hero if you want to. I don't know what these are for, so I'm not going to mess with them. That's pretty much the save editor in a, in a um, nutshell, though. Again, it's very easy to use. I'm sorry this video is a little long. Um, but I hope you all enjoy it regardless. 
and I'll see you guys next time with a Hero Coliseum video. It is going to be a deck suggestion once more. Hopefully I got one of those coming up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for that then. Peace.